are in big trouble, ma'am. Hey, I just got a call from the school saying my daughter was in trouble. What, what's going on? Yes, please sit down. We had someone vandalize our school last night, and we have reason to believe that Samantha knows who did it, but she's refusing to give us names. Okay, and what's the issue? Well, the problem is that she's withholding important information that we need. Okay, but snitches get stitches. I mean... What? Oh, snitches get stitches. Ma'am, you realize if your daughter doesn't give up this information, she is facing expulsion like the other kids, right? Wow. All right, go clean out your locker. You would seriously let her get kicked out of school before just giving us a few names? Snitches get stitches, okay? So there's no learning going on here? She's just gonna get away with it? Oh no, I've learned. Snitches get stitches. I'm so proud of you. Hey mom, can I borrow your car tonight so me and my friend can go to the movies? <sighs> what do you think my answer is gonna be to that? Hopefully, yes. The answer is no. I don't want my BMW that I worked hard for, let me remind you, getting scuffed up and dinged because careless, immature teenagers are drinking and partying in the parking lot of the movie theater. Absolutely not. No way. It's just the movie th- You know what? I'll just be a recluse. It's fine. It's fine. Hey, mom, can me and my friends take your BMW to the monster truck rally tonight? Absolutely. Go for it. Just don't get pulled over again. Thanks, mom. Are you serious? I'm done with this. Hey, Mom. Did you sweep the floor? Yep, just finished. Mm-hmm. Aha! I knew it. What? You missed a spot. Where? Behind this stone cabinet. Are you serious? This is just pure laziness. I give you one job and I come home and find you watching TV? It took me an hour to sweep this whole house. Well, as always, I'll just have to do it myself. Okay, have fun with that. Nobody can do anything helpful around here. I have to do everything by- Hey, looks like you got a letter. Oh, cool, thanks. This one's yours. Um, so who's it from? Why are you asking me? It's your letter. Well, you clearly already read it. Yeah, it came to my house. Right, but it was addressed to me. And I'm your mother. I don't think that gives you the right to go through. Can you just read it, please? It says I have a dentist appointment on Thursday. Yep, and then I need you to bring the car in to get service, and then you're gonna have to pick up your brother from soccer. Speaking of your brother, have you seen him anywhere? I have a letter for him. You up yet? What? Samantha, we have a full day today. It's eight o'clock. Get up. I am. I'm, I'm up. I'm up. Well, thanks to you, I'm going to be late to my appointment. So I need you to get up, get ready, and be downstairs within five minutes. <sighs> and don't forget, Dad asked you to do a bunch of yard work, so you need to get on that today. Okay, Mom. Okay. Well, look who woke up on the wrong side of the bed. I don't need an attitude first thing in the morning. And clean this room. Hey, so I noticed you seem a little off lately. Is everything okay? Yeah, I'm just feeling depressed. Oh, you're depressed? <laughs> Have you tried drinking water? Um, no. Because you're probably just really dehydrated. I don't think it has to do with hydration. Well, then it's probably because you spend so much time in that room. Actually, I feel my best when I'm in my room alone. Well, being alone in the dark is probably what's making you feel so sad. You should come out and see us more. That's never helped in the past, so I, I don't think I want to try that, no. Well, maybe you need to get off the internet and be more active. I know, I, I just don't have the motivation. I don't understand why not. Because I'm depressed. Well, have you tried drinking more water? Oh, hey, how was school today? It was good. Well, that's good. Tell me all about it. Well, in PE, a girl almost passed out because she got way too dehydrated. And what were you doing that you couldn't help her? Oh, well, I didn't notice until everyone else saw her. Well, aren't you paying attention to your surroundings? Don't you have water? Okay, let's move on. What else happened? Well, I got my test back. I got an 86 on it. You got an 86? What happened? I, I thought 
I had done well. I bet Jennifer got an A. What did Jennifer get? I don't know. We're not allowed to compare grades. Oh, you're full of excuses. You always have an excuse why you need to slack in life. Okay, so why did you want me to tell you about my day again? Well, I just wanted to hear about what you do at school all day. Well, I joined an animal rights club today. <laughs> Animals don't have rights. What are they teaching you at this school? <laughs> to not tell you about my day anymore? Yeah, I'll be there soon. I just gotta change really fast. Don't worry, I won't be late. <gasps> What's going on in there? Hold on, I'm changing. What are you doing? Why is this door locked? Hold on, I'm coming. Samantha, this is my house. Open this door now. I can smell the drugs. Mom, what are you talking about? I was just changing. Why was this door locked? Because I was changing. And otherwise you would have clearly barged in. Well, I definitely smelled something. You probably smelled this candle you bought me. Mm-hmm. Okay, so whatever. All right. You know what, keep this door open. Hey. Oh, it stinks in here. What's the problem? Are you nose blind? Let me get the Febreze. No, mom, not the Febreze. <coughs> no, seriously. <coughs> Nothing beats the scent of cashmere woods. <coughs> Double fisted. And one more for good measure. <laughs> hey, did you shower today? Yeah, why? Mm-hmm, and for how long? I don't know, I didn't time it. Probably 10 minutes or so. <sighs> What's the problem? The problem is that the water bill is $25 higher than it was last month. I'm sorry to hear that. Why are you looking at me? Well, I'm not the one using all the water. Well, neither am I. Clearly, this is a collective household problem. Well, if you're not going to take responsibility, you can go wash all the cars and hand wash the dishes today. Okay, but you realize that's just going to waste more water, right? Keep up this back talk and I'll get out the electric bill. Once again, that is a unified household problem. And for talking back, you can add ironing and vacuuming to your list of chores today. Okay, that's just going to waste more electricity. Why are you single-handedly trying to destroy this household? Hey, have you seen the... What are you eating? Popcorn. Do you really think you should be eating that? Why not? What's wrong with it? Well, your clothes are looking a little tight lately. I just want to make sure you're watching what you eat. Okay. So if you're bored, maybe go for a walk or if you're hungry, have an apple. Oh, okay. Fatty. Hey, thanks for picking me up. Yeah, of course, no problem. How do you drive with this music blasting? <laughs> Sorry. Whoa, you barely even looked backing out. Jesus, Mom, I know how to drive. Well, excuse me, I just want to get there alive. <laughs> Whoa, what? Oh my gosh, that car over there almost crashed into the one in front of it. <laughs> oh my God, we're going to crash if you do that again. Sorry, sorry. Did you use your signal? Yes, can't you hear the clicking? That's my signal. <laughs> what? Why did you break so close to that car in front of you? Mom, I've been driving for 10 years. I, I know what I'm doing. I'm sorry, it's just, why are you driving in the fast lane on the highway? Because I'm trying to get around this idiot. I just can't believe you're such an irresponsible driver. Get out. Hey, do you need any help folding laundry? Sure, I could always use the help. Okay. So yesterday when I was at school, stop, stop, you're not folding that right. Oh. Yeah, no, you have to align it like this. Oh, I see. Okay, anyway, when I was at school the other- You're putting that in the wrong pile. Pants go over there. Sorry, I didn't see that pile. Just stop. I'll do it. Well, anyway, when I was at school yesterday, I tried to tell the principal that there was someone coming in. The you are folding that shirt inside out. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize. I'll fix it. You know what? Just forget it. I'll do it all by myself. Okay, well, you can't complain that nobody ever helps you then. Always have to do everything by myself. This is the most ridiculous, unhelpful household. Is there anything else I can do around the house to help? No, don't worry about it. I'll just do everything by myself, as always. And violence is never the answer. Hi, I got another call from the school again. What's going on this time? Your daughter assaulted another student here today. Oh my god, what happened? Well, you know how girls can be catty with their friends and I think emotions were running high and it was just a bunch of girl drama. Oh, by girl drama, she's referring to me beating the shit out of a girl for bullying my best friend for being gay. You know, girl drama. 
Okay, so it sounds like she actually stopped bullying from continuing at your school. Ma'am, we do not condone or reinforce violence at this school. Oh, but you condone bullying? No, of course we don't condone bullying either. I just think maybe these girls were just, you know, getting a little emotional. Well, now that sounds like victim blaming. Do you condone victim blaming? Of course not, but I don't think my daughter did anything wrong. It's true.